There are a lot of myths out there about age and health. Many believe that as we age, our health inevitably declines. This belief is common, but it isn't necessarily true. Research has shown that it's possible to age in a healthy way if we take proper care of ourselves and make good lifestyle choices. But everyone knows that if we eat healthy, exercise regularly, and get enough sleep daily, we will be healthy, and yet most of us don't succeed in following the plan. Today in this video, we will discuss about some odd, but effective ways to stand out and enhance your healthy lifestyle. Number one, forest bathing. Also known as Shinrin-yoku is a Japanese practice that involves immersing yourself in nature, particularly forests, to improve your overall well-being. What is forest bathing? Forest bathing, or Shinrin-yoku, literally means taking in the forest atmosphere or forest immersion. It is a mindful practice where you spend time in a forest setting, engaging all your senses to experience the natural environment deeply. How does it work? Mindful walking. Instead of hiking or walking with a goal, you stroll slowly through the forest, paying close attention to the sights, sounds, smells, and textures around you. Sensory engagement. You actively use all your senses to connect with nature. This could include feeling the texture of leaves, listening to the rustling of trees, smelling the forest air, and observing the colors and shapes of plants, presence and mindfulness. The practice emphasizes being present in the moment letting go of distractions, and immersing yourself in the natural surroundings. Mental health benefits, reduces stress, the natural environment helps lower cortisol levels, which reduces stress. Improves mood, exposure to nature can increase the production of serotonin, the hormone that contributes to feelings of well-being and happiness. Enhances focus, spending time in nature can improve concentration and cognitive function. Physical health benefits boost the immune system. Trees and plants release phytoxins, which are antimicrobial compounds that can enhance the immune system's function. Lowers blood pressure. Being in a peaceful forest environment can help lower blood pressure and heart rate. Increases energy level. Regular exposure to nature can help combat fatigue and increase overall vitality. Overall well-being. Promotes relaxation. The calming atmosphere of a forest helps promote relaxation and reduces anxiety. Improves sleep. The stress relieving benefits of forest bathing can lead to better sleep quality. How to practice forest bathing, choose a forest. Find a nearby forest or natural area where you can walk without distractions. Slow down, walk slowly and take your time to fully engage with your surroundings. Number two, laughter yoga, a path to wellness. Laughter yoga is a unique practice that blends laughter exercises with yoga breathing techniques to improve physical and mental well-being. Here's an in-depth look at what laughter yoga is, how it works, and its benefits. What is laughter yoga? Laughter yoga is a practice that combines voluntary laughter with yogic breathing exercises pranayama. It was developed by Dr. Maiden Kataria in 1995 in Mumbai, India. The concept is based on the scientific fact that the body cannot differentiate between fake and real laughter, both of which provide the same physiological and psychological benefits. How does laughter yoga work? Laughter exercises. These are simple, structured activities designed to induce laughter. They often involve playful group interactions and eye contact, which help stimulate laughter. Breathing techniques. Deep breathing exercises from yoga are integrated to enhance oxygen intake, which improves energy levels and relaxation. Clapping and chanting. Participants often clap rhythmically and chant ho ho ha 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 to stimulate joy and social connection. Childlike playfulness. The exercises encourage participants to embrace their inner child, promoting a sense of playfulness and spontaneity. Meditative laughter. Sessions often end with a period of free-flowing laughter, allowing participants to laugh continuously for several minutes. Mental health benefits, improves mood, laughter releases endorphins, the body's natural feel-good chemicals, which can enhance mood and create a sense of well-being. Reduces stress, laughter lowers the level of stress hormones such as cortisol and adrenaline, 
leading to a more relaxed state. Post cognitive function, regular laughter can improve mental function and increase creativity. Physical health benefits, strengthens the immune system. Laughter increases the production of antibodies and activates immune cells, which helps in boosting the immune system. Improves cardiovascular health. Laughter increases heart rate and improves blood circulation, which is beneficial for heart health. Relieves pain. Laughter triggers the release of endorphins, which are natural painkillers. Social benefits. Enhances social bonds. Laughter is a universal language that brings people together, improving social interactions and relationships. Promotes group cohesion. Participating in laughter yoga fosters a sense of community and belonging. Join a laughter yoga club. Many communities have clubs where people meet regularly to practice laughter yoga. Start your own group. Gather friends, family, or colleagues and lead them through simple laughter exercises combined with deep breathing. Follow online sessions. There are many online resources, including videos and guided sessions, that can help you practice laughter yoga at home. Number three, birthing, also known as grounding, is a simple practice that involves walking barefoot on natural surfaces like grass, sand, or soil. The concept behind earthing is that by connecting directly with the Earth's surface, you can absorb its natural energy, which has various health benefits. Here's an explanation of what earthing is, how it works, and the benefits it offers. Earthing is the practice of making direct physical contact with the ground. This can be done by walking barefoot outdoors or by using earthing products, such as mats and sheets, that are designed to transfer the Earth's energy to your body. The underlying idea is that the Earth's surface has a negative electrical charge, and when you come into direct contact with it, your body can balance its electrical state, which can positively impact your health. Direct contact. Walking barefoot or using earthing products allows electrons from the Earth's surface to flow into your body. Electrical charge. The Earth's surface has a slightly negative charge due to a high concentration of free electrons. By making contact, these electrons can neutralize free radicals in the body, which are positively charged. Inflammation reduction. The neutralization of free radicals can reduce inflammation, which is linked to many chronic diseases and health issues. Improved sleep and mental clarity, regular earthing can help regulate your body's natural rhythms, potentially leading to better sleep and enhanced mental clarity. Number four, cold showers or baths, also known as cryotherapy. It involves immersing yourself in cold water for a period of time. This practice has gained popularity for its numerous health benefits, ranging from physical recovery to mental well-being. What is cryotherapy? Cryotherapy involves exposing the body to cold temperatures for therapeutic purposes. This can be done through cold showers, ice baths, or specialized cryotherapy chambers. The practice leverages the body's natural response to cold to provide various health benefits. How does cryotherapy work? Cold exposure. When you expose your body to cold water, your blood vessels constrict, reducing blood flow to the surface of the skin. This is known as vasoconstriction. Enhanced blood circulation. After the cold exposure ends, the blood vessels dilate vasodilation, which increases blood flow and helps flush out metabolic waste from tissues. Reduced inflammation. Cold temperatures can reduce inflammation and swelling in tissues, which is particularly beneficial for muscle recovery after exercise. Endorphin release. The shock of cold water triggers the release of endorphins, the body's natural feel-good hormones, which can improve mood and mental resilience. Number five, intermittent fasting. It is an eating pattern that cycles between periods of eating and fasting. It's not about what you eat, but when you eat. This approach can offer numerous health benefits from improved metabolism to enhanced brain function and cellular repair. Let's dive deeper into what intermittent fasting is, how it works, and its benefits. Intermittent fasting involves dividing your day or week into eating periods and fasting periods. There are various methods, but all involve a scheduled plan for when you can eat and when you abstain from food. Common methods include 16-8 method, 
fast for 16 hours, and eat during an eight-hour window each day. Five to two diet, eat normally for five days a week, and, and reduce calorie intake to 500 to 600 calories on the other two days. Eat, stop, eat involves fasting for 24 hours once or twice a week. Alternate day fasting, eat normally one day and fast the next. Warrior diet, eat small amounts of raw fruits and vegetables during the day and a large meal in the evening. Intermittent fasting works by allowing the body to use stored energy. During fasting periods, insulin levels drop, prompting the body to burn stored fat for energy. Here's a closer look at how it affects the body. Hormone regulation. Fasting helps reduce insulin levels and increase human growth hormone HGH levels, aiding fat loss and muscle gain. Cellular repair. During fasting, cells initiate autophagy, a process where they remove old, damaged proteins and other cellular debris, promoting cellular health. Gene expression. Fasting influences beneficial changes in genes related to longevity and disease protection.